Hi guys, okay, so this lighting is really shitty. And I need to move this thing, probably. Okay, so, a bunch of things have been going on. Okay, so this, I was not supposed to go live today. I was busy, like, the fuck? Like, anyways, so I was busy today, so um, I put this poll up there, it says, what party do you blame the violence, the bombs, and the caravan on, only because of the fact that, girl, 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 girl. I don't know if they can make it any more obvious, but I'm not here to talk about what I think it is. I'm here to talk about what it looks like, bitch. And what it looks like normally is what it is. You know what I mean? Because I'm a firm believer in not giving a fuck about the whole, like, um, it's not what it looks like. If it's not what it looks like, bitch, then make it look like something different. Just saying. But I want to show you guys a couple of facts. So, first of all, isn't it funny how this whole bomb thing is overshadowing the... Let's close this. Isn't it funny how this whole bomb thing is, is totally overshadowing the fact that the Mexico is um, sending over the caravan in buses now? We all wondered, how are they going to get here by um, election day like the Democrats said they would when they're walking? And if you do the math, if you're any kind of smart, which Democrats are not, so that's why they didn't think about to do this until later. <coughs> when the Democrats first came out and said... That they, um, when they first came out and said that um, the caravan will be here by election day, they didn't think about us figuring out the fact that 1,700 miles cannot be walked by that many people within two weeks. So, because we knew this, we knew that they couldn't do that, right? So, here's the thing they got a little smarter, teeny weeny bit smarter about it, and they kind of confused us and made us a whole thing about these bombs that they sent to themselves. I think they sent to themselves personally, which we'll get into that in one second. But it's funny how the midterms are coming up and they're using this as their own ploy. If they did not send the bombs to their goddamn selves, if the bombs were sent to them by this motherfucking man that they said sent them the motherfucking bombs, let me tell you something. This is still proof to leave the Democratic Party if you are a Democrat. Why are you saying? Well, because here's the proof that they're using victimhood and using real human lives to their advantage. Because let's say these bums were sent to them by this crazy Republican. Instead of using it for um, reality of what it is, and that's like, oh shit, people are sending bombs. Shit's getting real right now. This should be an alarm, a wake-up call to everybody is what the Democrats should be saying. But instead, they're using it to their political advantage. And they're saying, there's Trump stickers on the window. Your lives were at risk. Why does that even matter? But, we learned some facts today, so let's go over them. Fact number one. I live in Oldman, California, so I did not know this at first, but <clears throat> fact number one. When you live in Florida, let me get to the, to the truth. When you live in Florida, a felon cannot vote nor register to vote, so, what is the, um, so what's the point of him being a Trump supporter? So here's the thing. They said that he was a Democrat until 2016 where he, when he voted for Donald Trump in 2016. How did he vote if he was a felon since the 90s? That makes zero sense in Florida. Because I live in California where I get it, they let illegals fucking vote. But in Florida, you can't even vote if you're a fucking um, felon, which he is. And then they said, okay, well, he was Democrat until 2016. Bullshit. Do you know this bullshit? Well, I have this thing called mylife.com. You guys have it too. Everybody in the world has mylife.com. Why do I know you have mylife.com? Because if you have the internet and you have any social platform, you have a mylife.com. Mylife.com is set up by the government. The government sets up mylife.com and you can pay to look up your whole entire background. Or you can do the free version, which just only looks up your simple um, fucking... Um, like your 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 score. It's not a credit score. What it is it's called a my life score. Okay? So the my life score works like this. If somebody doesn't like you, bitch, they can go on there and put some bad shit about you. Okay? My life has a good my life score, by the way, because it goes off of everything that it builds algorithms from all your social media sites and it puts them all together in my life. And mylife.com it teaches you different things like for instance, um it tells you um, what state you're from. It tells you if you have family, who your family is. It tells you what social media platforms you have. It tells you what emails you have. You can look up anybody on mylife.com. Try it today. Look up Christopher Drew. Leave me a good review. <laughs> Anyways, bitch. So on mylife.com, this motherfucker, who is listed as a white man, but is 99.9% .9 Indian, but Elizabeth Warren is Indian, you say? 
How does that make sense, bitch? And now let's go to mylife.com. So mylife.com posts, somebody posted this on Reddit. And as you guys know, Reddit is a highly, highly, highly patrolled site. You cannot be posting fake shit on Reddit without getting caught or being read to filth. So it's on Reddit. On mylife.com, his, I don't know if you guys see that or not, probably not, because this light's so amazingly perfect. <laughs> Anyways, on his mylife.com, it said he was Democrat, and minutes later, minutes later, and this happened today, minutes later, it said that he all of a sudden was Republican on his mylife.com. Now, mylife.com is set up by the government, and it takes all the algorithms from all the things that you do on the internet and puts it into mylife.com. That's how my life works. So yes, you can go on and suggest edits to mylife.com, but they're only approved after they're seeked out as truth. That being said, it said he was Democrat today. And then minutes later, it said he was Republican. And let's be real about these stickers on these windows on this fucking van that is his mother's now. First of all, when he went to jail for domestic violence, where he got his felony crime on him, that's the reason how you know he didn't actually vote, because you can't vote if in Florida if you're a felon. But um, they said it, the person he did domestic violence on was the same, same name as his grandmother, but we don't know if it was his grandmother. And if it was his grandmother, at the time, she must have been 80 years old. Domestic violence means you fought somebody that you live with, or that somebody that's blood-related. How do you not know if it's grandma? The fuck? <laughs> you idiots? And then his mom's van with those Trump stickers for a van sitting in the sun that motherfucking much. Sure did have some brand new looking stickers up on that bitch, didn't it? Every single one of those Republican stickers look brand new. And it's funny how he's a white man all of a sudden because y'all think he sent some bombs somewhere and he's a Trump supporter because there's some brand new stickers put on his van Right when the news just so happens to be there, how crazy, how weird. Second of all, do you know who I think he did it? I don't think it was exactly the Democrats, although it was a Democrat. I believe that it was a Bernie supporter. Why do I think it was a Bernie supporter? Because the lady they said the bombs came from was the lady who got fired from the DNC and hired by the Hillary campaign because she was doing a Hillary collusion where she made sure Bernie did not fucking go to fucking against Trump. She made sure it was her. And it was set in stone before the election even went down. That being said, the lady who knew that, the chairperson of the DNC, got fired. And right away she got hired by Hillary's team. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. First of all. Second of all, that's where the person said the bombs came from. So he's clearly, whoever is sending these bombs out are targeting all of the main Hillary fucking Democrats. But the Bernie Democrats are just fine. Bernie has got nothing. Oh, but the girl who stopped Bernie from running is the one being blamed for the address, the return address of the bombs. I think it's a Bernie supporter who did this personally, and it might even be this guy. But they're not letting him talk. But people online sure are changing his shit for him because he's arrested right now. So how the fuck would he be on MyLife.com suggesting his own edit that he's a fucking Republican and not a Democrat? Just saying. And how the fuck did he vote in 2016 if he's a felon in Florida? Just saying. Now, many of you from California might not know this because we live in a state, I get it, where they let, they let illegals vote. But in Florida, you cannot vote if you have a felony, which domestic violence is a felony. Trust me, I know, bitch. I know. Second of all, <coughs> don't let this bomb shit fool you motherfuckers. They're using it to their advantage to get everybody to try to hate the Republicans and hate Trump. And then they want to say that Trump is inciting the violence of bombs? As if Maxine Waters, the bitch who has received two bombs, did not stand on a fucking soapbox in LA and scream, Yell at the fucking Republicans! Tell them they're not welcome here! Ah. You dumb bitch. There's a reason why you received two bombs and everybody else received one Maxine Waters. You are a violent piece of shit. And what the fuck? This is just called karma. Tell me what it tastes like, bitch. First of all. Second of all, don't let this bomb shit distract all you motherfuckers. Because what also happened during this time is Mexico, who didn't support, who didn't support the caravan apparently, lied and said they didn't support the caravan, but support, supported fucking filming their wall, their southern border wall, which is, you know, every Republican's excuse, including mine, saying, why don't you guys want a wall? Mexico has a southern border wall. Well, they filmed them breaking down the wall just so we can have some Democrats yell at us and say, see, walls don't work. And now Mexico is funding buses 
to bring the caravan here. And the crazy part about all this is that that's not brand new. It may be brand new leaked, but let's be real. The Democrats were saying the caravan was going to be here on the day of election day since the beginning. They were saying that the whole time. But we, smart people, was doing the math and saying, 1,700 miles walking, how are they going to get here in time? <coughs> when they figured out that we realized that, all of a sudden bombs were sent everywhere. Weird. Distract us, motherfucker. We're all distracted on bombs now. And now they can creep all those motherfucking caravan people up on those buses in Mexico and drive their asses to the border and be here in time for election. Where, you say? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the states where illegals can vote. Like California. I hope the Republican Party makes sure that the Democrats never, ever, 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 ever get back in office. Why? Because this shit is alarming. If you do not see this as alarming, or if it doesn't make you at least sit back and fucking second guess their Democratic Party, then bitch, please don't vote. So we don't need your fucking dumbass vote. We don't need your fucking uneducation. We don't need your will to get handouts. We don't need your unwilling to, hard, to do hard work. We don't need that in this country. We don't need to have your more love for um, illegals than you do for American citizens. Fuck your undocumented word. I don't care about your feelings, bitch. But I think that the Democratic Party, the ploys that they do and the lengths that they go to are insane. Especially because of the fact that this guy who, threw, who apparently sent the bombs... Even if he did support Donald fucking Trump, nobody incites violence like the left. Let's be real. That's the reason why Maxine Waters got two bombs, you idiots. And <laughs> if he did support Trump since 2016, like they say, then why the fuck are the stickers so brand new? In Florida. They lived through a hurricane. They lived through two hurricanes, by the way. Two hurricanes in Florida. Those stickers that say he supports Trump. And they look brand new. They're shiny as fuck. No, no sun damage or anything. Weird. Weird. Or did he get out of jail today and go and put brand new stickers on his van? And also get on mylife.com and change his status from Democrat to Republican today? Hmm. He couldn't have done that. He was in jail. As CNN wants to discredit him as an Indian and say that he's a white man, which is funny as fuck, because they want to also say Elizabeth Warren is an Indian. The fuck? <laughs> like, how fucking retarded do you think these people are? We're Americans, bitch. We're retarded, bitch. We're retarded. We have fucking educations up in this motherfucker. How the fuck? Like, Hillary motherfucking idiot Clinton. Bitch. <laughs> I hope you pass out, like, in the fucking funniest place, like, on an escalator or something. I hope you break your whole fucking face. Like, I never incite violence, but that's not violence. That's called an accident. I hope you fucking fall and break a hip. Bitch, I hate you. If the left had such strong plat had such a strong platform and such a real stance, if you were so confident behind your stance, why don't you do like a Republican does and just stand behind what you believe in and use that as your ammo? Why do you have to use your own supporters as ammo? Why do you have to make it to where illegals can vote and argue about why that's bad? That's bad because they're not Americans, you idiot. Why do you have to make up all this crazy shit? Why do you have to go to these ploys and say it's about women, it's about kids, it's about blacks, it's about this, it's about that, when it's not about any of these things? How firm are your fucking stances, Democrats? How firm? Because they look really fucking weak. Because so far, all you have to do is rebuttal with bullshit. Let's say the bombs were Republicans. Let's say the caravan wasn't even you. Bitch, we all know it is. But let's say it's not you. Let's just say it, Okay. Tell me, Democrats, let's finally get down to, I don't know, the issues. Tell me your stance about things. Tell me why and when you think it's okay to get an abortion, for one. For two, tell me why and when it's okay to have somebody who's not documented, I'll speak your language, vote in this country. Tell me why... And when you think it's okay to tax people more fucking money to run your socialistic, dumbass fucking agenda. Let's talk about the issues. Be a real Democrat. Be a real politician. And talk about the issues at hand. And debate. Stop making up bullshit like race baiting. Stop telling us we're victims. And stop using my goddamn sexuality as a motherfucking weapon, bitch. Because it ain't gonna work. 
America's waking up. We're waking the fuck up. Do you guys see that Turning Point USA? Do you guys see that, that black convention they just had at the White House? The black convention, let's repeat that. There's more black people in the White House than Obama ever put there. Just saying. The Republican Party has more black support than they've ever had ever in history. Since, since the abolishment of slavery. Since the Democratic Party jumped over and stole the black votes. By telling them they're victims. Just like they steal the gay vote. They put it in our heads that if you are gay, black, or a minority and you vote Republican, that that's an oxymoron is what they say. They say it makes no sense. They fill your heads with bullshit. Do you know how I'm a faggot and I still vote Republican, bitch? Easy. I'm a dude who fucking sleeps with men and when I walk in the polls, I vote Republican. That's how fucking easy it is. So for you to be told that it's absurd is absurd to me. But my whole point is this. If the Democrats had such strong, sturdy ground to stand on, why do they play these games? Why do they have to play these fucking games? And why do they use you as a victim? Why do they tell you who vote for them and support them that you are a weapon? Why is your mortality and your life not important to them? Outside the Kavanaugh hearing, over 100 women, including Amy Schumer, got arrested and put in jail. Because they were up in their feelings. Because Democratic leaders got them up in their feelings. We were screaming that we care about women. But not one person tried to bail out to not one of those women. Not one person. Not one person. I thought you cared about women. I thought you cared about victims. Gays. You guys know for damn motherfucking sure. And maybe you don't know. But this is how the government works. When something goes to the Supreme Court. It's not going to be brought up again baby. And let me tell you. Gay marriage. Ain't going to be brought up again, baby. He can't even bring it up if he wants to. So let Trump, let whoever they want hate gay people. Stop being afraid of that. Democrats, stop lying and saying to people that if Republicans get back in office, they will overturn gay marriage. That's not the case at all, baby. We are in office and we're not overturning gay marriage. Stop telling gay people they must vote for you because they must be in fear of their love for one another. They must be in fear of their right to marry. How dare you? You are the party that they're supporting. How fucking dare you? Women, you are not lower than men, but you are not better than men. Blacks, welcome to equal opportunity. This country now gives it to every single person. We don't need any more of that fucking, we don't need any more of that fucking putting you in college because you're skin color or or giving you an extra trophy because you're skin color. You don't need it anymore, baby. You're equal in this country. You're equal. Put on your work boots like the rest of us, baby. Let's go to work. Go to work. Since gays were able to get married, this is the most equal we've ever been in America to date. I am so lucky and so proud to say I am alive during this time. This is the first time ever in history that we have had equal opportunity across the board. Why are we not celebrating it? Why is the Democratic Party, simply because they're not the ones in office, making us forget the fact that we should be celebrating right now? Since gay marriage, this is the first time in American history that we've had equal opportunity across the board. Women, gays, blacks, legal, documented immigrants from Canada, from Russia, from Mexico. We are all equal across the board. Celebrate. That's what we should have been in the streets doing. We should should be in the streets fucking protesting and acting crazy. Why? We're equal now. Of course we took the gays off the White House website, bitch. That's what equality looks like because there's no other minority group there. You wanted equality, right? I wanted it. You wanted it. We all wanted it. We're getting it now. What you complaining about, bitch? Oh, yeah. It's because the Democrats lied to you and told you that equality meant that you were going to be better than every other group. Well, you're not. You're American. We're all American. You are just as important as anybody else, but you are not better than any motherfucking buddy else. In this country, we have equal opportunity. Equal opportunity to succeed, equal opportunity to go to college, equal opportunity. If you can't afford college, we will pay you to go. We simply ask that you follow the laws, get a driver's license, and be a fucking American citizen. We, we simply ask you to do normal things. I don't understand how you guys think that it's okay to want illegals to vote. Why? Simply because they're voting on your side? Had Republicans had the illegal votes, and we wanted people to come over here and vote illegally, you guys would be up in arms. Let's be real, you guys would be marching somewhere. Breaking some window of your supporters like Bank of America and Starbucks just saying. <laughs> you know? I just don't understand how any of you guys still let this party make you think you're a victim. 
And that's not the case. So what? If you don't want to believe that the bombs came from a Democrat, if you don't want to believe that the caravan is paid for by Democrats, don't believe any of those things. Let's call those conspiracy theories, because at this point, I guess they kind of are. But let's be real. How good do you feel about your fucking stance, Democrats? And why can't you just use that as your rebuttal? If your stance is so hard, if your ground is so firm, why the fuck do you got to play race baiting lies and fucking suppression, suppressions to different groups of people like women and gays and fucking black people? Why? If your stance is so firm. And if your stance is so firm, shouldn't your God, President Obama, who was here the last eight years, shouldn't he have fixed all that for you? Shouldn't we always think of fucking things like discrimination be a thing in the past because he's so good at getting rid of it? Clearly not. I think Trump is making us the closest to equality that we have ever been. And I think that it's the Democratic Party that's stopping it from happening. And it's really sad. It's really fucking disheartening. They want to scream that he hates this, he hates that, he hates this, he hates that. And he proves you wrong with everything he does. From hiring more women in the White House than anybody else, to hiring gay, um, openly gay people, to um, fucking doing the biggest things for black people more than any other fucking president before him, to fucking literally having today alone more black people at the White House than Obama ever even dreamed of having. Like, I don't understand how you guys keep saying these things and it keeps standing behind them as if they're real. Like, how can you guys stand firmly behind these things when the f you know the facts as well? You guys are like, I don't care if you hired more women in managerial positions. I saw his tweet about women. Uh. Shut up. Like, bitch. He can hate you all he wants. Bitch, he's allowed to. He's American. Americans are allowed to have opinions. But until he makes it a law, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Last time I motherfucking checked, bitch. Gays, homos, we can still marry, bitch. And it's funny how karma works, right? Maxine Waters wants to incite, wants to celebrate incite violence. Bitch gets two bombs. Ha! Obama drops more bombs in our nation's history, more than World War I, more than World War II, more than Vietnam. He dropped more bombs in our nation's history, more than any other president before him, and he gets a bomb sent to him. Welcome to karma, bitch. Although it's not even karma, because it's your own motherfucking people, bitch. Today, after you arrested this motherfucker, his My Life account, oh god, I wish you guys could see this. Let me try to turn on the brightness. I, again, if you guys don't know what my life account is, go to mylife.com. You guys can look up anybody, including me. The government has set up this, app, this um, website called mylife.com, and it goes off all your algorithms on the internet, and it places you with a score. It's called a social score. Okay? Don't fuck mine up. Mine's good. But you get to... Um, they, they dub you as Republican. They dub you as Democrat. They dub you as whatever the fuck they want. So I turned on... Yes, I turned on brightness and kind of worked. So it's called mylife.com. I recognize it right when I saw it. This is on Reddit. As you guys know, Reddit is a highly, highly, highly secure site that does cut down anybody who's not real. Now, they have a section for conspiracy theories, but this was not in that section. This was in the fact section. And this, his My Life report changed from Democrat to Republican within minutes after he already got fucking arrested. And his mom's van with all the I support Trump stickers, the brand new stickers. Bitch, don't act like there wasn't just now two hurricanes. There was two hurricanes through that fucking place, through Florida. I mean, it's not hurricanes. Do you, have you ever been to Florida, bitch? Just, if you've ever been to Florida, you know the weather. These stickers don't even have sun damage. I think that's, that goes, I mean, I'm not an investigator. I'm not the FBI. I'm not a fucking private eye, but I do have some questions. That are obvious. That I feel like any private eye or investigator or FBI agent would look into. These really fishy, fishy, fishy things. And all of this is overshadowing the fact that Mexico just paid for a bunch of buses. Or was it Democrats? Paid for a bunch of buses for the caravan people. Remember how in the beginning when they said they're going to be here by the time that we have midterms and we were like... 1,700 miles, there's no way they could get here in that time? That's impossible? Remember when we thought that? Well, they knew from the beginning they would be here in time. How? How do they know this? If Mexico just donated the buses the past two days, how did the Democrats already know a week ago that they would be here in time? Hmm. Hmm. Like, the fuck? Like, can you guys do anything right? Like, shit. It just... 
that's really fishy. And I get it, this whole entire video today has been about kind of conspiracy theory things. I understand it, but it just all fucking makes a lot of motherfucking sense. Especially when this Democrat person who has a, a, um, a felony for um, domestic violence in Florida, which Florida don't play with domestic violence, and it was a family member, they can't tell if it was his grandmother or not, but they know he lived with her, and they also know that the grandmother's name matched the name of the person that he did um, domestic violence to. But, hmm, we don't know if it's the grandma. Don't be stupid, bitch! Domestic violence is domestic violence, and in Florida, when you have a motherfucking felony, it ain't, it ain't like California where you can fucking be illegal and vote. Well, in Florida, if you have a felony, you cannot vote. You cannot vote. So how the fuck did he, how the fuck is he listed as Republican, first of all? And why the fuck, if this bomb thing is so real, why the fuck is the most important thing you talk about the fact that he's Republican? Why the fuck aren't you guys talking about the lives that could have been lost? Why the fuck aren't you guys hugging your children, wiping your foreheads, and saying, thank God we caught this man. This evil, evil man. Instead, you guys say, oh, he's a Republican. Oh, oh. These are bombs. These are lives. Stop using your own people, Democrats. Stop. Like, it's so crazy to me. You guys just want to simply throw out Trump, Trump. Shut the fuck up. And if you think Trump incites violence, look at your own idiot party. Your dumb party who makes gays feel like that we're victims and we're victims forever, bitch, even though we're fucking more equal than we've ever been. That party who uses my sexuality as ammo, as a fucking weapon. Like, bitch, get up off me. The party who uses women as a weapon, who are also 100% equal. Who uses black people as a weapon, who also have equal opportunity just like the rest of us, if not more. Because they, have, they go to college and stuff because their skin color, I can't. So what the fuck do the Democrats keep telling you you have to complain about? If you do not think it's crazy that your party is using you and your, what they call weaknesses, what I call amazing lives that are just are, make us all different and unique, like being gay, being gay is not a bad thing, bitch. It is what I am. Like, oh, well, I'm gay, bitch, and what? I don't care if you like it, you don't like it, I don't care. I'm not going to let my dick-sucking abilities uh, fucking dictate the way I vote in this country. Because when you vote in this country, you're voting for everybody, for the Christians, for the Muslims, for the women, for the men, for the white men, for the black men, for the Mexican men, you're voting for us all. So don't let your dick sucking abilities be the dictator of fucking how you vote. Especially when your party wants to tell your victims when they've been your fucking president for the past eight years. If you're so low, how the fuck did you get that low? Because I'll tell you one thing, look at facts and numbers, bitch. Don't give me your opinions about Trump, but let me tell you, the facts and numbers say since Trump got in office, things got better. Period. So what the fuck? If you're that low, who got you there? Maybe the same person who made us go from being number one in the economic fucking world force the year he got in. Blame Bush, I get it. Blame Bush, blame Bush, blame Bush. But um, Obama sure never got us back up there. Until Trump. <laughs> and it took Trump 21 months, mind you. Which, and I'm um, speaking Democrat, that's eight years apparently. All I got to say is this. If you're a Democrat and you still think illegals should vote, you're an idiot. An idiot. If Republicans had it to where we had the illegals vote on our party, you would not want them to vote. Why would you not want? Why would you want not want them to vote? You would not want them to vote because you would say Republicans are using illegals. You should you should be American to vote. Just like you guys were for the electoral college until it worked against you. Shut the fuck up, you idiot fucking people. If you really feel that strong about your stances and feel like they're that firm, like I said all through this video then why don't you just stand on your fucking moral ground and your stance and fucking debate your fucking stance. Prove the Republican stance to be wrong. Prove it. I don't want your opinions or your tweets, bitch. I want your proof. Because I've yet to see any of it. I get it. You want to fucking say you're right. You're afraid to say you were wrong. We all are. I hate saying I'm wrong when I'm wrong. But sometimes I am wrong. And that's okay. The beauty of it is, when I'm wrong, I learn more, and I get stronger. When you're wrong, you'll do whatever it takes to twist it, to twist it, and to twist it, so you feel good about the bad things you're saying and doing, like supporting all women, except for the hundred of them that got arrested outside the Kavanaugh hearing, including Amy Schumer. But you care about women, or just Ford, I mean. I mean, all women, sorry. I just feel like if your stance is that fucking firm, 
stand on it. Because I can say one thing, through the ugliness, through the violence, and through all the shit that the Democratic Party has thrown at us as Republicans, we still stand behind our moral ground on the issues. And it's made people come to our side. Because they see it. I didn't think I'd be on the right either. But the left? My sexuality is not a weapon. Stop. Women are not weapons. Black people are not weapons. Mexicans are not weapons. And illegals should not vote in this country because they're illegal. And if they're not even here yet, they're not, they're not illegal yet. They're just not citizens of America. So you should only be able to vote in the country that you live in. This is not rocket science. Bitches. So better hurry up and fund your little buses. Because all the money you guys put into the Democratic Party... There's a reason why the black community is still suffering. There's a reason why gays are still suffering. There's a reason why poor people are still suffering. There's a reason why Maxine Waters District, which is Skid Row, has the highest child population of homeless children in the nation. There's a reason for this. Because the money you donate to your party doesn't go to your party. Do you know what it goes on? It goes on things like caravans and paying for buses to get people to the fucking border so you can get some more votes. So they can get in more offices so they can take more of your money. More of your money. And then they have a plan of making you get taxed a little more. But if Americans are hurting so much, then why would you want to tax us more? Just wondering. And if the country is so bad, why do you, why do you support a bunch of people coming here? Shouldn't we all be fleeing America? If socialism is so good, and... Um, the American economy is so bad. Why aren't we all fleeing to Honduras? And don't forget, the only little piece of Honduras still standing is funded by Americans. What did Trump threaten to do if they didn't stop the caravan? Stop their funding. Hmm. What could we possibly be funding there? What, what, what could we be funding in Honduras? Hmm. The only tiny bit of livelihood those people had. I get it. They don't have a lot. It's fucked up. But America can't pay for the whole motherfucking world. We could teach them trades. We can go over there and help them. We could give them our money. But damn it, they do not deserve our votes. I'm sorry. They don't live here. They're not part of this country. They should not have a right to say what we should do in our country. We don't go there and tell them what to do. We just donate money to them and shut the fuck up. Because we're good people. We don't tell Mexico what to do. We give them money and shut the fuck up. Because we're good people. We even let their people come over here and we fight about it as, um, as citizens of America. As they're still running behind us, crossing the border. We're not truly doing anything about it. But it's time. It's time. Bring a caravan. But also, pray for all your brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, moms, dads, anybody you know in the armed forces. Pray for them because they're going to be going to the border. Thank God. It's sad. I'm sad that they're going... But thank God. Thank God. And I hope they go with full fucking force. Do you know what's even sadder? The people coming over here aren't weapons. They're human beings. But by God, we cannot put up with this. But guess who doesn't care? The same people who paid for them to come here. We can stand at the border and shoot them. And do you know who would not give a fuck about their lives? The Democratic Party. They would use it as a political ploy to say, see, this is why Republicans are bad. Shut up. These are human lives. It's not about politics at this point. If a bomb doesn't make you hug your children and fucking check your mail differently every day, but instead make you say, oh, he was a Republican, then you have problems in your head. Because bombs are not something we should play with. Lives are not currency. Stop playing with our lives. I wish I could name one thing the Democratic Party does that they're not just playing with our fucking lives and our money. Fuck our money, our lives. If you donate to the fucking Democratic Party, there's a reason why your groups, every single group in the Democratic Party that's minorities, has not got any help. Ever. So gays were able to get married now. That's the only thing he did for us. As he dropped more bombs in our nation's history. As he sent home, at the time he said, he did not call them undocumented, he didn't say that until Trump got in office. He called them illegals. Obama sent home more illegals in our nation's history than any other president before him. Oh, look, he's inviting them back. 
Like, if you don't... Like, what, do, what does it take to have to get you guys to see the realness of the situation? Like, Trump did not incite these bombs. Or did not incite violence. He, Trump even could fucking tell you you're stupid as fuck and that doesn't incite violence. Maxine Waters saying to harass every single Dem- Republican person you see from the cabinet. That's inciting violence. That's exactly what inciting violence looks like. Like, what the fuck? How can you ever think Trump did it, you idiot? Are you stupid? Especially when this guy, he's in jail right now. How did he change his mind life from Democrat to Republican within minutes, a couple hours ago, like three hours ago? How did he do that from jail? How? How does that white van survive two hurricanes, the fucking swampy ass weather, all through motherfucking Florida, and those fucking stickers look brand new, not even any sun damage? How? How? Weird. And why would somebody send bombs to people and learn their address? Learn so much about them that you know what they do. Know so much about them that you know why you hate them. Know that it's every Democrat that only supported Hillary Clinton and not Bernie Sanders. That's kind of weird, isn't it? But on top of that, not think to look on Twitter to see where they're fucking at because not one of these people were even home during the time that their bombs were supposed to be received. Not one. Not one. Not one. <laughs> think about it, guys. Think about it. And this is all this is all ignoring the fact that the one person that um, did go through the USPS, which would be Soros's bomb, his stamps, just like the other stamps on all the other packages, were not marked. Why? When you send anything, if I send you a fucking happy birthday card, bitch, your stamp will be marked. Why weren't they marked? Weird. And if this guy from Florida is the one who did it, how come they still haven't found the guy who simply delivered it to CNN? Hand delivered. Hmm. If it didn't go through USPS, then who was that delivery man? Where was he from? And why aren't we talking about it? Hmm. It's a little weird. And why did it only go to Hillary supporters? Isn't it weird how the person who they were supposedly addressed from, that Democratic leader, that girl, She's the same woman who was fired from the DNC for the Hillary collusion. Yes, I'm going to say collusion. Because she's the reason why Hillary went against Trump. Because she made it to where she was a shoo-in before Bernie even finished speaking. It was supposed to be Bernie Sanders against Trump. I will say this much about Bernie. I don't agree with socialism. But by God, I would have a lot more respect for that man running against Trump than I ever will for Hillary Clinton. Bernie deserved it. Bernie deserved to go against Trump. It deserved to be a fair fight. It deserved to be a fair fucking rumble. And Bernie got robbed because of Hillary fucking Clinton and this stupid bitch. So this stupid bitch, I think, is hated because of what she did to Hillary. And it's weird how right after she got fired from DNC, she automatically got hired with the Hillary campaign. And now they're saying the bombs came from her. I think this person's a Bernie supporter, especially because on his website, mylife.com, it says that he is a Democrat. Three hours later, this is my news, after he got arrested, three hours later, it said all of a sudden he's Republican. That's weird. I think he was a Bernie supporter, personally. I think it won't do the Democrats any good to admit that. So I think the Democrats are going to say that he's a fucking Trump supporter. And let's say he is a hardcore Trump supporter, bitch. Maxine Waters, you want a violence, bitch. Don't be surprised when it came to your door. Not every smart person is Republican. There's dumb Republicans, too. There's more dumb Democrats than there's dumb Republicans, but definitely there's dumb Republicans, too. Yeah, there's dumb human beings. Welcome to Earth. But the party who thinks that illegals should be able to vote, go back to sleep. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, no Democrat. Like, Democrats are not moral. They're not moralistically pe- they're not moralistic people. They believe the lie that they're victims. Like, bitch, I have equal opportunity. I don't know about you, because I'm gay. Gays have equal opportunity. Women have equal opportunity. Blacks have equal opportunity. There's nothing in our law that states that they don't. So if you're mad at a KKK member, bitch, go be mad at KKK. Don't be mad at Donald Trump. Idiot. Idiot. You fucking dumbass bitch. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, what the fuck are you thinking? How do you even... How can you think that that's even firm ground to stand on? Like, how the fuck do you think that's firm ground to stand on? You're turning this bomb incident into a I hate Donald Trump issue when really you should be hugging your motherfucking children right now, telling fucking them to watch the mail... And be worried because some psychos are out there and fucking people are even willing to send bombs. 
This is a scary thing. Not a Donald Trump thing. Put it away. And if he was a Donald Trump supporter, even if he bought these stickers and put it on his van, and they survived the sun and survived all those hurricanes and everything that just happened there, and the stickers still look brand new, that's besides the point, whatever. Let's say he was a Trump supporter. He couldn't have been more than a supporter because he definitely wasn't a voter. Because in Florida, if you have a fucking felony, which he got years ago, way before 2016, he would not be able to vote in Florida. Again, for all my people that are watching here in California, I get it. You guys don't know anything about what it's like to be have strict voting rights or voting fucking tariff or whatever the fuck you want to call them, rules, because of the fact that we let illegals vote. But I do want you to know, in Florida, if you have a felony, you're not allowed to vote. I think it's like that in California too, but let's be real. If we let illegals vote, I'm sure we let them vote too. But um, all I'm saying is this. He wasn't able to vote. So how the fuck did they say he voted for Trump in 2016? And he was Democrat until today. After he got arrested. Okay. 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 Bitch. I get it. It's conspiracy theories. So call it conspiracy theories. But let's drop the conspiracy, conspiracy theory and talk about the truth. Democrats, why do you have nothing else to stand on? Why is your firm fucking beliefs and the things you stand behind, why are they so weak to where you can't depend on those as your rebuttal? Why does your rebuttal have to be, see, this person hate is likes Trump. See, the KKK likes Trump. See, Trump hates black people. See, Trump ate a taco and made fun of a Mexican. Why are those your only fucking stances against the Republican Party when we bring nothing to the table but fucking truth? And our stances of the issues. If you're so firm, if your stances are so fucking firm, why don't you just stand behind that? Hmm. Looks to me like that alone tells me maybe your fucking stances are our theories. Maybe the conspiracy theories as everything you believe in as a Democrat. Like the fact that you think we're victims. Like the fact that you think gays are a fucking weapon. My sexuality is not a weapon. It's something I overcame. It's something I flourish in now. And it's something that I celebrate and love as a Republican. I've had so many messages sent to me by Republicans that said nothing but love. Democrats, nothing but hate. Nothing but hate. Nothing but hate. You guys have so much hate in your heart that I pray for you. And I don't even believe in God, bitch. But I'm lost. I don't know what else to do for any of my Democratic friends. The fact that you would go and push and believe that we are victims. The fact that you would go and tell black people they're less than. The fact that you would go and tell women they're less than to the Republican Party, which is false, is bullshit. Before you want to go and call somebody names, look up the fucking facts. Ask yourself, how does Trump employ more women in managerial positions if he's so sexist? Ask yourself that. Why does he employ openly gay men if he's so fucking homophobic? Ask yourself that. And why is he so for immigration that his fucking in-laws went through it the long and normal way to become American citizens? He didn't give them any clout. He didn't give them any help. But he supported that. We're not against immigration. Stop letting Democrats fill your head with bullshit. We are not against immigration. We are against illegal immigration. Why? Because the word illegal means illegal. You idiot. Purely. I'm going to put it point blank for you. The word illegal means against the law. Do you need any other like example? Because illegal means illegal, you idiot. So that being said, stop thinking we hate Mexicans. First of all, you racist pieces of shit. We have other borders other than just Mexico, okay? In fact, the first ICE abolished march happened in Maine. Second one, outside of New York, against the Canadian border, not the southern border, baby. Stop it. When we say immigration, and if you think Mexican, well, you might just be a fucking racist. Just saying. And if you think that hating white people is reverse racism, you might just be a fucking racist. I'm American. I don't have African-American friends. I have black American friends. Friends. I don't have Mexican American friends. I have American friends of Hispanic fucking origin. They're not Mexican American. They are American. They're not African American. They are American. And I am not just a white person. We do not come from a place called white. My family came here during World War II, bitch. We weren't even here during slavery. Like, the fuck? <laughs> All cultures. All cultures 
will blend. This is a melting pot. Fuck your cultural appropriation bullshit. Fuck your fucking bomb bullshit. Fuck your caravan bullshit. And fuck your one-day illegals fucking vote bullshit. Vote red this motherfucking November if you're fucking smart and you want to live. Because, well, that was really like Arnold Schwarzenegger of me, huh? Like, vote for me if you want to live. I just think your labeling and your separations are fucking detrimental to this country. I think you're hurting us more than you are saving us. You have children asking me every single day on Musical.ly where I'm an influencer, where I tell them that labels don't matter. They ask me, are you a boy or a girl? I have kids that tell me, I just want to know so I don't offend you. So I know what to call you, your pronoun. Why do we have children that are afraid to fucking address me as a man? Because of you, Democrats. And your labels and your separations. And you mask everything with love and acceptance. And it gets people to believe you. It got me to believe you for almost 30 fucking years. But it's a fucking lie. It's a fucking lie. You separate us. You get in power. You control us, you keep us down by giving us crumbs and telling us every time you give us one little crumb, oh, look at that, you guys are succeeding a little bit more than you did with Republicans. Here's another crumb. Give us crumbs. And right when a Republican gets in office, you, Democrats, take it all away from us and tell us it's the Republicans' fault. False, fake, fucking news. Stop. I don't hate Democrats. I'm sad for Democrats. I am sad I was a fucking Democrat. I am sad I was fucking used by a party for political gain. I'm sad that I'm watching all of your lives, your personal lives, the lives that make you guys the beautiful people you are. The reason you guys care about things Democrats throw at you is because you care about other human beings, because you care about people, but you're being lied to. You do feel good because you feel like you're sticking up for every victim out there because nobody deserves to be victims in America. This place is full of alien... It's alienation. It's a, for, it's a melting pot. We all should feel love. We all should feel welcome. And I feel that just like any other person on the Democratic Party who's fighting the Republican Party about it. But it's lies. It's lies. And the only way you're going to get over it is by simply fucking stopping. Racism can go away like that. And yes, it is that easy. Don't tell me it's not. You can simply stop. Just stop. Because by law, we're all equal, bitch. Equal opportunity for everybody. Stop. You can plan whatever you want on whatever Republican you want from now on. I feel like there's nothing else you guys can do. I feel like it's so obvious it's crazy. I really hope you guys lose hard fucking core in November. I really... Hope that even if you win in November, well, I don't hope, I know this. Even if you win in November, you're not winning 2020. Too many of us see it. Millions have walked away, not thousands anymore. Now it's in the millions have walked away. Call it Russian bots, still be in denial all you want. Be in denial all you want because it's how we won 2016 and it's how we're going to win 2020. But I do not think anybody should feel good about being a Democrat at this time, at this moment. They were not always a bad party, but they are now. They're going back to their roots where they came from. Segregation, race baiting, identity politics. Fuck you in your identity politics. I'm different. That's it. I don't need a label. I'll be damned if you label me and put me inside one of your fucking categories so you know that you can judge me and say, oh, I know people that are like that. I know cis white males. That's he's a cis white. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm an American. That's it, bitch. I'm a human being that lives in America. Anything else? I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're Mexican. I don't give a fuck what color your skin is. I don't give a fuck what's hanging between your goddamn legs. If you have morality and you live in, and you were born in America or you are a citizen of America, fucking, if you live on American soil and you are a citizen legally in this country, then to me, you're just another American. I will not treat you differently if you're a woman. I will not treat you differently if you're a faggot. I will not treat you differently if you're a black person. I will not treat you differently if you're Hispanic. I will not treat you differently if you're Asian. I will not do these things. And shame on anybody who does. Americans are waking up and we're coming together. And if you don't like it, oh fucking well. But the people who says that this country is so bad are the people also wanting everybody to come to this country. I thought we were so bad. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this fucking rant. Like I said, I was not meant to go live today. I'm, like, shirtless. I was seriously, like, sitting in my room, and I, like, 
got all these notifications from Reddit and stuff, and then also from Facebook about this whole thing. And um, I cannot keep my mouth shut anymore. And I'm a person who can't keep my fucking mouth shut when I have something to say. If you've ever met me, you already know, bitch. Don't fuck with me. So next, I want to end it on two funny notes. <laughs> because let's be real, we all need a good laugh here and there. So here's one of the funny notes that I saw. I saw a meme. Uh, mind you, I know it's the leftist ploy memes. I get it. But sometimes they're funny. Here's one that says, how is Elizabeth Warren, who's 99.9% white, more than that, she's more than 99.9% .9 white, just saying, she's only 1,024th one, Indian, whatever, less than the average white American, less than me. But, they say she's Native American. And they say this guy who did this fucking bomb thing, isn't it crazy how he is 99.9% .9 Native American and they call him white? Like, and that's one of the funniest. And here's the second and the last funny I'm going to leave everybody with today. I have something for you guys to ask yourselves. <laughs> ask yourself this. If Trump is Hitler, does that mean that Hitler gave Jerusalem back to the Jews? Let that sink in. Bye. <laughs> Stop being Democrats and be better people. Or stay Democrats, just be better people. Love yourself, love one another, and realize we're not victims, we're victors. Welcome to America. God bless.